I'm Larry Dapsis. I'm the entomologist with Cape Cod Cooperative Extension. And in this segment, I'm going to show you how easy and how important it is to send a tick to college. So I've got my computer here. We're about to order a tick report. So let's go to work. All right, so what I've basically done to start this process out is we go to the website for the Laboratory of Medical Zoology at UMass Amherst. You just go to tickreport.com, and that's where I am right now. All right, this is the home page for tickreport.com. And before we place our order, I want to point out just a couple features here on this. In the lower right corner, there's a red circle, and that is a chat button. So if you run into any problems at all, you just go to the chat, type your question, or describe your problem, and they monitor this thing very, very carefully. The other thing is up here, there's a link to statistics. Now, the laboratory keeps every single data point that's generated when people sending in ticks for testing from basically all over the world. And in the database right now, there's almost 45,000 ticks. So what you can do is go to select a location, so Massachusetts, put in a zip code, so I'll put in Barnstable, and any species of tick, we'll look for our friend the, the deer tick, and any pathogen, and basically bingo, there's 56 ticks that matched our criteria, and we can look at what the percentage of infection is for ticks uh, in this particular town. So it's an interesting way to kind of characterize what's the exposure risk in a certain region. So when you click place your order, you come to this page. Let's get started. So what I've done already is I've put in my contact information, my name, my email address, my phone number, uh, notification I want to get my tick report by email. Uh, where'd you hear about us? I've used these guys before. I've sent 4,000 ticks to college in my seven years. And there's a terms and conditions button. And basically what they're saying is that this is not to provide, this is not medical advice per se. This is not a substitute for talking with your primary caregiver about, you know, having a tick bite and what potentially uh, might be going on with you. So you basically accept that, move on and we're going to place our order. All right, so now we're going to choose what package we want. Uh, there are three different ones we can choose from. Uh, there's a standard DNA package. That would test for the basic panel for the agents that cause Lyme disease, babesiosis, anaplasmosis, and relapsing fever. What I'm going to pick is the standard DNA package but I'm going to include the RNA test, and that would cover Powassan virus. And we know we've had Powassan virus here on the Cape, and I'm kind of interested in seeing what this tick might be carrying. So then we go to Next, and how would we like to test? How many ticks? Well, we just have one adult female deer tick. Um, I'm going to indicate in this, for the purposes of this exercise, it was found on me. Male, host age, 62, attached to skin, yes. Was there a rash? No. Part where the tick was attached, we're going to say lower leg. They ask you for an approximate time of how many hours that tick was attached. And I'm going to indicate, I think it was on me for a day. And what date was the tick removed? So we just scroll to this calendar. I'm going to say yesterday. Presence of rash? No. Additional notes? No. So we go to next. And basically how we're going to pay for this. And I'm going to indicate that I'm going to pay for this by check. And then we just click on complete order. So it generates a work order number. And you write that down, just put that on a piece of paper. So we got the work order number in the baggie with the tick. Just kind of roll that up, put it in an envelope with the check. We'll mail this off today. They should have it by tomorrow, and we should have our tick report in about two days.
So we received a tick from Larry Dapsis, who sent it from Cape Cod. Um, I'm going to open his envelope and take the tick out so that I can identify it before it gets tested. So I need to get the tick out of the bag. All right, now that the tick is under the microscope, we can actually identify what type of tick it is. Different ticks pose different risks because they carry different pathogens. So I can see that this is an adult female deer tick and it's been feeding for some time. So I'm gonna take a picture of the dorsal side right now and then we can upload those images to the tick report. And then I'm gonna flip the tick over. And take a picture of the ventral side, which has more identifying features that we can use to determine what type of tick it is. Now that the tick's been identified as a deer tick, we can put it into its tube and get it ready for testing. All right, it's been two business days. The laboratory guarantees three business days or less, and we have an email with our report. Let's go check it out. All right, so let's open this thing up and see what we have. So we click on private tick report, and here we go. So on the right-hand side, we have, just to make sure it's our report, we have all of our correct contact information. Um, yeah. Okay, that was very good. And one of the things they do is they, they send us back pictures of the tick um, from the top side and on the bottom side. And this tick has been feeding for, it's partially fed. So this tick was feeding for at least 24, if not 48 hours, plenty of time to transmit any of these pathogens. And the headline on this is it's not just about Lyme anymore. We're up to five different pathogens that this deer tick can transmit. All right, so here's our data. Uh, this tested positive for Borrelia burgdorferi. That's the pathogen that causes Lyme disease. And if this tick was attached to me for 24 to 48 hours, that's plenty of time for transmission. Uh, this tick was also infected with um, Babesia that causes Babesiosis. Uh, it was negative on Powassan, which is a good thing. All right, so now we've seen our data, uh, let's talk a little bit about what this means. Um, it tested negative for Powassan virus. That's a good thing. Uh, Powassan can be uh, very, very serious. It's fatal in about 10% of the cases. And since we have found Powassan infected ticks uh, on Cape Cod from Falmouth all the way out to Truro, this is why I was particularly interested in that pathogen. The other reason is that the transmission time for Powassan isn't 48 hours, um, it's 15 minutes. So now we have two positives, one for the agent that causes Lyme and the other agent that causes Babesiosis. So we have this co-infection and this is something that we find very interesting and we're trying to raise awareness in the medical community and the general public that last year, 2017, of all the ticks that were tested from Cape Cod residents, 13% uh, of them were co-infected, meaning they were packing two pathogens, three, sometimes even four pathogens. And you can come down with more than one of these diseases at the same time. So for me as a potential patient, these are very good data. I have hard data of what I was potentially exposed to. Now, it doesn't mean I'm going to get sick, but at some future point, if I'm not feeling so good and I'm talking to my primary caregiver, I can show them these data. And for the doctor, now it provides maybe some guidelines of what they should be looking for to give their patient uh, a full and correct evaluation. So we think it's potentially a good diagnostic tool for the medical community. So I'm very happy having these uh, hard data in hand. 
Um, and if I'm moving forward and I'm still feeling pretty good, I, I know that I've got a service behind me that if I should ever get a tick bite in the future, and we should all think about prevention as, as the thing we should focus on the most. Because what I tell people in my general public sp uh, speaking is that if you get a tick bite and you're not feeling so good and walk into a doctor's office, the outcome is not certain. And that should be kind of a scary thought. So with this information in mind as a service, and it's now still being subsidized by Cape Cod Healthcare, uh, we did have a discount applied to this. It was $65 versus $150 test. So a very good value for the data. So with that, stay tick safe. So this is my contact information. I always look forward to speaking with you or addressing your emails. And we'd certainly like to thank Cape Cod Healthcare for their financial support for this project.